places because I am quite far away from everywhere. So I do have to walk a bit, which is fine. I'm sorry, I literally stepped out of my door and someone's, this is just not okay. Someone stops in their car at the side road I'm walking towards and says, hey babe, get in my car. I'm sorry, but that is, that is not even funny, that's harassment. Anyway, today I am going on a boat trip, so that's exciting. I'm wearing this cute little outfit. I'm walking to the bus, it's a fair way, but we're getting there. Oh my gosh. The um <laughs> the crazy day I've had. Oh my gosh. Look at this background, how cute does it look? So basically. Basically. Oh, I don't even know. I'm walking home, my data ran out. I had no bloody data, didn't I? So I had no idea where I was, how I was getting anywhere. And I was like extremely like, just getting so stressed out because my internet wasn't working and I was like, oh my gosh, like great. So I know what bus I'm getting, but I'll wait. So I was waiting to get my bus, right? So then I ended up getting on the bus and this guy at the bus stop was actually kind of kind. And he was like telling me like where to get off because I had no idea where. But then he also said, oh, the bus has Wi-Fi. So I was like, oh, great, okay, great. So I connected to Wi-Fi, thank goodness. Then managed to figure it out. Then I was like, oh my gosh, like, I need, whilst I've got Wi-Fi, I need to buy another SIM or like top up my package. EE wouldn't work, so I had to find an eSIM. So I literally went on ChatGDP and I was like, right, best eSIM, please. And then they managed to find, like it said, like a website. So I typed it in and I could get a SIM for, um, like ten pound for the month, ten gigabytes. I was like, right, great. I'll just get that. And I managed to get it set up, but it was kind of like complicated and stressful. It took me like an hour. Sat at the bus stop, connected into a hotel's Wi-Fi. Thank goodness I connect connected to a hotel's Wi-Fi to sort it out. You know. Seriously though, reliance on phones is unreal. Anyway. More to the story than this because when I was on the boat I ended up meeting this this businesswoman icon and she was this like a spiritual teacher and she was like giving me advice and stuff on my business and stuff which was really really cool it was really really nice to chat with her and we ended up going to the beach together which was really really nice afterwards and we just had a good old chat So I'm just off roller skating, just wearing a little dress. I'm really getting sick of the harassment. Like people beat me as I'm walking along, it's really annoying. Like yeah, it's getting to a point where it's my day 16, something like that. It's over two weeks now I've been here and obviously I'm here for another three. But um, I think I'm just having one of those days where I'm just like feeling a bit naff. Like, I mean, it's bound to happen, isn't it? Like. It's not that time of the month or anything. I'm just feeling a bit naff, like... I just 
a bit of an overwhelming day and just a bit overwhelmed with just the work and stuff. Nice little sunbathe, swim in a sea. I need to capture me swimming in the sea in one day. Good morning. Um, just basically ordered some clothes from an American, American um, company for a custom. And um, they don't fit, they're too small, so I'm just returning them. This morning I'm just walking to, to a USPS. Another thing is like around here, traffic lights, when they say you can cross the road, it doesn't actually mean you can cross the road and like not look, but you still need to look because like when there's a red light here, you can still turn, you can still turn right. So I was literally going to cross the road and cars were still coming from the right. Like from, not like immediately right, but from all the way over another road. So yeah, you gotta be so careful. <laughs> anyway, last night was fun. We just had some like enchiladas that um, the Airbnb lady made me and her and her son. So that was really cute. Really yummy. We also need to top up some supplies. I need to get some like chicken. I need to get rice. I need to get like more oats. I need to get more fruit and veg. Like, I get fruit a little amount I can carry quite quickly. <laughs> stuff in Miami. It's part of Miami but like no like people look at you so weird when you like whip out a camera. Like, it's so bizarre but um, alrighty. <laughs> to go off to the post office because UPS didn't do it so I need to find the post office now. Found it. Okay.
Hello, so I haven't vlogged in a while. Just been having a few miserable days at home, inside, working, but that's fine. Wearing this cute little blue dress today. I'm just waiting for the bus. Yeah. And today I'm gonna go on a bus tour. So that's gonna be fun, a little bus tour. Um, just cause it was one of the things I need to do. So I'm just gonna do it pay the money and just sit on it for like three or four hours just going around hopping on hopping on so yeah i think that should be fun today mm, the sun. have a little purchase um it's just some um the ordinary acetic acid for my red patches because i have some very red patches on my cheeks so that's supposed to be a good one for it
Golden hour it is. Oh shit. Shit. Dogs. The big bus tour. That was um, expensive, very expensive. I don't think it was worth it either. Well, I was, I'm glad I, glad I did it. But I kind of, in a way, wished I'd got there way earlier so I could make more of the most of it. Because it's only for a day. So I don't think I fully made the most of it. I don't know. Oh, oh well. Um, what I saw was really nice. Anyway, from it, like you saw the like nice views. So that was good. It just wasn't very long. It went very, really quickly. And I think I got on it at maybe 11.30. And it gets dark really early here. So it's only like, well, now it's seven but the last bus was at five and i just about caught that one so oh uh, well live and learn i kind of knew it but i'm glad i did it so that i could be i could go and have a look around different places but as you saw i had a really nice um i had an ice cream at this place and then i had and that was in little havana that's where i was at so that was nice to just hop off and have a look around there and then um, I look on the Miami di Miami district, the design district first. Then it was Little Havana, and then it was um, South Beach. I feel like I haven't really done that much. I did treat myself to a raisin canes, something like that, chicken dinner and chips. It was a kids meal. That's in my bag. Oh, I ate half of it. That's nice. Um, very greasy, classic American food. That's right. Yeah, I'm just doing the little walk home after my extremely long bus journey. I should have really got somewhere closer, but oh well. Oh, and the Miami District. That was that was good to like actually see the proper bis not Biscayne, um, Bay side. That was really nice in the photos. Hi, so I managed to get out and about early today, Saturday, um, my third Saturday here, and I think I'm going to go on a night out tonight, potentially, if um, the people I'm going with tell me a time and a place. So yeah, hopefully that'll happen. Um, just wearing my little halter neck brown top, little j short jeans, jean shorts, and um, today I've got a little backpack on because yeah it kind of my shoulder back was like throwing my shoulder out so yeah my shoulder feels a bit sore um yeah one thing i would say as well like i'm in the north of miami um and yeah you get a lot of like racism towards white people here i feel <laughs> I, I feel like the black people are getting their own back <laughs> like the men in terms of like luring and being harassing and then the women in terms of like comments and laughing it's very weird yeah i don't really like it it's not nice walking around north miami on your own at all yeah i much prefer the south i really wish i wasn't living up there to be honest but i am gonna be gone on thursday so I'm going to be down in the south on Thursday. <laughs> Got a while yet though. Whole freaking five weeks up here. Oh well. <laughs> I've enjoyed it. Like, you can't complain the weather. It's just what it is. Right, I've got to get a bus now. I'm going to get a train, a bus and a train. To go to hopefully Coconut Grove.
actually get to Palm Beach. Oh yeah, I didn't even update you. Basically, I was gonna go to Coconut Grove and then I got on the wrong side of the train and ended up going the wrong way. So yeah, um, I think um, something I'm learning, which I, um, I think this trip is kind of here for me to learn, is that basically, when I'm given too many, when I'm giving too much freedom, it actually makes me extremely anxious and overwhelmed. So I really don't like it. Um, yeah, it's just like I'm trying to make a decision of where I'm going to go. And I change my mind, and then things don't work out, and I don't end up there. And it's just very like dysfunctional. It's so, like I think just the way I was brought up and this night like, not really suited to this. Like. I need to like spend my money on like a thousand pound, you know, trip that's really structured that I don't have to think about and I just do it, what they tell me to do. Because having this much freedom and trying to decide what to do to enjoy myself, really, really, really hard for me and caused me a lot of anxiety. So I think I've learned that. And then also one thing I'm learning is that like the anxiety of being out of my Airbnb with a phone that's losing battery life every time I go onto it. Yeah, I need it to like get myself places and figure things out is incredibly stress inducing. It's at the point where my brain feels like so overwhelmed and anxious. It's not very nice, it's actually not a nice feeling. And I, I also, something about here, the bus drivers, no F all. Literally, you get on the bus and I say to them, do you go? Literally something as simple as, do you go to this specific destination? That on my phone says it, they go to. Haven't got a clue. They actually haven't got a clue. And I say, I literally got off this train. I went to the, the the bus driver to about to get on a bus that said on my phone that it, that bus number 70 would go to the beach. I said to him, just to jump off the track. And he just instilled doubt in my mind completely. And he said, go to the beach? Don't know. Like, and he wasn't even being funny. He actually phoned up like somebody and like checked. And he was like, nah, this isn't the bus. You want a... 180 eastbound, which was completely the opposite direction and completely something I had not seen on my phone. So of course I'm not going to get on the bus if the driver's not even said that. Bloody hell, like, you, like people haven't got a clue, even if you ask them, they don't actually have a clue. Like, I literally have to rely on my phone. Hence why I get anxiety. And it's going to lose battery, so I'm just going to go home. I think I've realised I need structure. Okay, so I need structure. I need routine. Like, fuck, I'm so emotional this week. I know it's like probably Mercury retrograde. Like, I've heard that that's like a thing that um, is like throwing everyone off and it's throwing me into like some kind of fucking psychological weird walk. Like, Oh, oh god. But like I understand that I'm just really struggling to figure out what's like, what I'm gonna enjoy, what I need in life. Like I'm really struggling. Like I need something in life that's like I know I need structure that's designed for me that I just do no matter what. I have no say in changing it, I just must do it it's accountability with everybody else because that's what I was brought up with I was brought up in extreme structure extreme routine there was no other way there was no other choice I had to do it no matter what yeah maybe that's what I need I don't, I, too much freedom messes me up, messes me up. It gives me too many decisions. Too many decisions throw me right off. 
don't know why some people can do this lifestyle. Some people just can't. Like, there's no winning. Like, bloody hell, this is the worst week. Ugh. Oh, this is awful. It's not like, it's not even the fact that, like, I'm on my own. That's not even the problem. The problem is, like, the problem is, the problem is, Mercury, Mercury retrograde. Throwing me well. Oh my god, like really like digging into like all the pain points, everything, really being targeted. Like all my struggles really, really bad. Oh, I hate it. Really hate it. into a really bad situation where there was no buses turning up so I hopped on a bus thinking it was going in one way turned out it was going the other way so it was about to take me into nowhere's land that was fun and then I got off in a panic and I was walking along in the summer and I realised it was a really dodgy area so dodgy like the amount of beeps I had whilst I was stood there so bad so I was like oh my god like, I'm so scared I'm just gonna get an uber straight away so I quickly like walked to this place and like hid behind a tree <laughs> and I like put my scarf over my shoulders to like stop people looking at me and um got my uber home it was worth every penny to get me out of that awful situation. <laughs> Honestly, was, that was bad. What am I like? <sighs> My gosh, this day couldn't get any worse. My night out's cancelled because I realised that I don't want to get myself in that situation late at night. Can you imagine? God. Hey, okay, thank you. Nice load of things from Target. Nice load of plastic bags. Donkey in the background. I really wanted to try this tart cherry juice. So we're gonna give it a go. <laughs> Ooh, 